people ask the question, why does God allow Satan to exist? John Piper claims he uses sin to glorify himself, but his glory is self-evident. He never needed sin to highlight his holiness. He keeps Satan on a long leash to teach creation a lesson about free will and the consequences of rejecting him, a perfect holy God. God, in his infinite wisdom, knows that one God is greater than infinite gods with infinite sentient creations wanting to be a God themselves, which would result in limitless death, pain, and suffering, just like the demented cartoon Rick and Morty. So God determined that one God was better to create beings which pleased him which he could please. God didn't want to make robots, so he gifted every spirit with free will, with the chance of his creation rejecting him, giving life and free will is greater than objects with no life. God warned the angels of the consequences of their actions, but they did it anyways. God makes eternal spirits. If they decide to cause an infinite amount of pain and suffering to other eternal spirits, the punishment is eternal torment. Rejecting our holy God is to sin against him and abuse the creation around you at their own expense by placing yourself above others. God made all spirits and creation perfect in the beginning, and he warned them of the consequences of not listening to him, but they did it anyways. Now they're trying to get out of their punishment by trying to make a god out of nothing to protect them, trying to find a way to become a god from nothing themselves, thus the search for a make-believe god particle. They're doing this all while using God's creation as a playground like little gods, playing out their sick fantasies to mock God and live a pipe dream. But God reeled the angels and evil spirits back in on the cross to use them as a tool to dissuade people from meeting their same fate. According to the heavenly spiritual principle of an equal punishment for rejecting a holy God and your sins which affects others, if God didn't provide a savior, an eternal holy piece of himself, to take the punishment for those who rejected him, both in heaven and outside of it, a piece of his holy deity which didn't deserve to die, as equal payment for rejecting an eternal holy God, all of creation would have had to burn in the lake of fire, with unlimited prideful gods that would not love their creation and do the same thing that God has done.